Hello, welcome to Ephemera Files by Tommy. And this journal's been a long time coming. I have been working on it off and on for months, I'm pretty sure. This is Ivory Dreams, and it is made using four kits from Nanny Nut Collage Type. And part of my goal was to show how you can marry kits together. You don't just have to use one kit to create a cohesive journal. And so I think I succeeded. <laughs> I will have the four kits that I used listed with links in the description below. I used Wedding Guest Book and Journal Kit, Ancient Ivory Junk Journal Kit, Ivory Botanical File Folder Kit, and the Ivory Botanical Junk Journal Kit 2. Let's see, and this one measures nine by six and a quarter by two inches thick. Has five signatures. As usual, I have no idea how many pages. It is fairly simple on the outside. I used a simple closure. This is how I am including my ink pen. I include an ink pen with each of my journals. I started that a while back and I think that I've remembered to do it in all of them. <laughs> Sometimes I might forget, you know, but this pen is actually part of the closure and it just simply says love one another. And the closure is this piece of lace that just wraps around and there is enough here that should it expand, you can expand. Should it get smaller, you can do that too. It's really a simple closure. I used a chipboard, no it's not chipboard, what is this? It's a laser cut piece of wood. I, I will try to figure out what it's actually called and put it on the screen here. And the thing that I think is special about this was I used a box from a set of shampoo and conditioner that had a window in the front and so I made use of the window. And so there, that is open right there so that you can see the front cover through it. I just thought that was fun. I thought it was really fun. I added some of the same lace here on the spine and then these are papers from the kit. One of the kits. <laughs> All right, so here we go on the inside. I did use some scrapbook papers that coordinated really well along with some uh, quilting fabric that I had. I'm going to try not to talk too much, and I say that every time, and I end up talking a lot. <laughs> I have some collages and different things on each page. Along with some stenciling and some stamping. I have a pocket here, and this is just some beet dyed paper that I made. And I thought it went really well. And as is my custom, I will be taking everything out of the pockets and putting them to the side so that you can see what the journal looks like without all the fluff and stuff. This is a greeting card. I thought it was really pretty. Here is an envelope, and what I'm going to do for each of the envelopes in here that do not have anything in them is I have some pieces and parts that are left over that I did not use, and if I do not use them in these two coordinating journals, then I'm going to fill the pockets with those. I'm going to fill the pockets anyway, or the envelopes. All the pockets, I think, are filled but the envelopes are not all filled. And I lined this with some handmade paper. This is avocado dyed paper. And this is tissue paper with some vintage notebook paper on top of it. Here's the center of the first signature.
Another bit of collage. These are all from one of the kits, maybe several of the kits all put together. This is just a little surprise because you don't think it's anything. But I've got two little half Velcro dots here. And so that opens up and it really gives you some secret writing place space because if you don't know that opens up, you just think, oh, that's a page, that's a page. So it'd be a really good secret. I have a pocket here with a tag backed with the beet dyed paper and stamped and just a folded sheet of paper. This is an um, actual stamp. This, my um, computer decided that it was going to print on ink saver. Like this is supposed to have a whole lot of color in it and that got printed ink saver. Well, so did this. So I took some of my Spectrum Noir markers and I colored it all in myself. Now, I know that I covered part of it up, but it's still, I like the way it looks. I like that. Here I have a double belly band. A little journaling card there. And here is one of the envelopes that I will be filling. Just a little collage on it. Got, this is a piece of a uh, very old doily. A little Brad right there. This page has a lot of things tucked into it. I have, these are just a couple of pieces that I've fussy cut from the kit that can be used wherever. I like how this ruler turned out. I stamped on it in, let's see, old paper to distress oxide and then backed it on some parchment. And here I have a tag and a tag. And this one is also backed with the beet dyed paper. And that's the first signature. I went crazy on this page. <laughs> I stamped and I got daisy stickers all over the place. And this is a stamp from the kit. And this postcard is also from the kit, as is this. This is a piece of packaging that I just thought went really well. Here's a double pocket. In the front pocket, I've just got a journaling um, folder. I'll call it a folder. I'm always struggling with what to call that. I'm just gonna call it a folder. And then this is a whole sheet from the kit. I just folded it up and inked it, left it blank on the back side so that it can be used however the owner wants to use it. I have a doily in here. This is, let's see if I can remember which way this goes. Yep, just like that. And then this flips down, this flips up, this flips down, and this flips up. And you've got a whole lot of writing space there. And this just works like a policy envelope closure. Hard to do from this angle. I'm trying not to knock my light around. Hmm. There, just like that. And then I've got a couple of flat beads and glass beads on there as well. This is um, handmade paper. This is an embossed glassine envelope and I've just included this tag that I've backed with some copy dyed paper. I think that is really pretty. I think it's dogwood print from a stencil that I have that I used instead of using a placemat I used a stencil same on this one and just laid it on top of the paper while it was drying so that I could get that print. In this pocket got this journaling card 
And I like, there's a lot of birds in at least one of the kits. This is one of them that printed with the ink saver. And then I got this in a packet and it's called Where Wild Birds Sing. And then I backed that with beet dyed paper. Another piece of that old table, old doily, excuse me, not tablecloth. I have a tablecloth. I didn't use any of it on this. Here I have an extended pocket that I've tucked in these two journaling cards. This is again, avocado dyed paper. Here's the other side of that double pocket. This is an envelope that I've just collaged on the front and I'll fill with some goodies. And then this is a paper and I'm trying to think if it was Victorian ladies fold, Victorian letter fold, something like that. And I collaged and stamped all over the front of it and it unfolds like, like this. And the way you do it is you fold your envelope to the or paper to the size you want your envelope and then you fold in about an inch on each side. You see this is a whole sheet of paper. And then you just take this part here and slide that in. And the same on this side. And it just slides together and stays closed. I wish I could remember what it was actually called. I'll have to look it up. But I like that. And everything on here except for this sticker and this stamp is, oh, and this stamp is part of the kits. I just added some lace right here because the front pocket is actually short. It stops right there. The back one goes all the way down. This is a um, hibiscus dyed paper. I almost forgot. Here I have the collage with the washi and the cutout stamps, and then I stitched over the whole thing. This is a fun little pocket. It's a whole page, and I just cut out that part, glued everything down except for here. I had a video I made the other day, two and a half hours of working on this thing, and my camera wasn't on. So I don't know what I've shown you and what I haven't. But I've got two tags here from some coordinating scrapbook paper. And we're into the third signature. Here is my fiber flip. And it's not all fabric because it's got laces and stuff that can be snipped off and used or just left as is. There's another part of that doiling. This is some, uh, I think this is not upholstery. I think it's for curtains, but I'm pretty sure it's silk and a vintage flashcard, and that all flips up. And then I sewed across the top of it, left this part of the doily sticking up at the top, and on the back side is a belly band, which is where that flip up came from. And it's a double belly band, just like the other one was. A long, tall journaling card. And then another piece that I folded very similarly to the one that I showed you, except for it doesn't have the top fold. But it still just tucks in like that. And then I did the uh, crumpled corner for a little accent. Here's another pocket that's been collaged and two, a journaling tag and a card. This is coffee dyed paper that I dried in the oven on one of my um, pans that is just full of holes. I think it's a grill pan actually that you would use on a like a barbecue grill. Little collage right there. It's a collaged pocket with some more of that, that peach, pink, whatever colored lace. Little journaling card. This has some more of that silk fabric for a tab. This 
flips out and there's another little envelope right there that I'll be tucking some goodies into. A window pocket here with a flash card in it. And these stamps and this window are all from the kits. Another journaling card. This is a different pan I have that I think is still a grill pan, and that's beet dyed paper. I love how this whole page turned out. Now we are in signature four. We have this collage here that actually extends on both sides because I needed something to help keep that ribbon in place. It was just flipping and flopping everywhere and wouldn't stay attached. So this is a chipboard sticker and I have it right here. Give me one second. Oh, and it's this, but I do not have the packaging so I can't tell you what the name is. Sorry about that. Some stenciling. This is some handmade paper, stickers, all kinds of goodies. And here's another pocket. And in this window, this flower lines up. And then I have another flower in the same place back there. I just like that effect. I like if there's a window to have something to still look at when you take the item out of the pocket. Paper doily. That's just some reverse stenciling that I got way too wet, <laughs> but I like the way it looked. There's another belly band, and again, I just folded the paper so that it can be used however. More of that hibiscus dyed paper. little tab here of lace that goes in with this collage over here. There's a pocket that kind of echoes the same flowers. That is the same flower. The rest are all similar. The journaling card. That's on a piece of scrapbook paper. And this tag is actually two tags that were beside each other and I just cut them so that they would stay hinged. They are still attached to each other and I put an eyelet in there. Another journaling card. I have a bingo card here that I've backed with some of the paper from the kit. It's got one of those washi stickers on it. And then this is a wraparound pocket because it's a triangle on this side and then the rectangle on this side. And I think somehow you're supposed to put it together differently than what I did, but I liked it wrapped around the page. Here's another journaling folder. And then this paper clip, this paper holds this out. This is a triple tag flip out, I think is what I was calling it. And then I have a pocket right back here that I've got a tag and a journaling card in. I'm gonna put that paper clip back on there so it will hold that closed. This is a paint chip and it's called Ancient Ivory. And one of the kits I used was called Ancient Ivory Junk Journal Kit. And I just added a sticker to it, aged the back or aged the sides with some inking and then backed it for writing area. I thought that was fun. And then we're to the last signature. I have a glassine pocket with this and that's a belly band and I forgot to put something in it. I'll just show you what it looks like. Like that. I'll put something in there. And this is an envelope that you can tuck things into. And I thought that that was really pretty. Here I have a top tuck that I've made out of an envelope. And inside this envelope, I do have 
a journaling folder. And then a journaling card tucked up in the bottom with an antique style ribbon added. And this is from the kit as well, and it looks like it just came on the envelope. This is coffee dyed paper. I have a library card catalog card, and it's talking about ivories. So, um, ivory sculptures from Spain. So, I just thought that that was fitting. This is again that coffee dyed paper. Little collage right here. Some more of that handmade paper. That is it mulberry paper? I don't think that's mulberry paper. I think that's just handmade. Here I have a large pocket that I have just added one of the pages to. I did cut like um, an inch, three quarters of an inch off of each end so that it would fit in the pocket. And then in this pocket, I have another, well, this is separate. I thought that was cute. And then this is another of them that I just folded and tucked in on the one side. This is folded in half. This is tea dyed paper. I don't know if that lace print is showing up on there, but it's got a very subtle lace print on it. And then I just tucked that in right there. I think it just makes a nice neat fold. And then that's from the kit. More avocado dyed paper. And coffee dyed paper little collage up here another journaling card that I put a tab on this is what the ink saver looked like on the one that I colored in and I am not sure let's see if I can find it real quick without making you wait too long here we go this is the same one and this is what that one looked like before I colored it in so you can always go back and change something if you've got an oopsie to make it better um, I don't know that it would be exactly what you wanted to begin with but you might like the final result like I said this I accidentally somehow printed on ink saver and this is what I got and so I colored it in and I think it turned out pretty well In this little pocket here, I have journaling space on the back of this card. I liked this right here, so I just kept it on there and then folded that up. And then this folds down and there is a journaling sheet in there that I've stamped and stenciled on. And then on the other side with the envelope flap, I did a little collage and then tucked in this journaling card I have I have I wonder I may just just for a little more interest I think this will be fun I do not remember where I got these stickers. It was a while ago. I really like them. I wish they weren't so glossy. I wish that they were washy stickers, but they're not. Yeah, I like that with just that picking out. What do you think? Last minute addition. <laughs> and then I like the depth that that gives with the two of, two of them on there. All right, let's go on. This right here is a peekaboo pocket because I like the way that that just kind of, when you put it back in, watch down here. 
and that just adds to the whole design and then you can pull it out and that's backed with coffee dyed paper with that stencil and then I just added two stickers up there at the top for a tab and then another journaling card here that I just tied a piece of seam binding on and backed with some beet dyed paper and that is the end of the journal. And you can see that it's still, even with all that stuff out of it, it's still pretty chunky. But I like it. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty nice. Is there anything in here that you would like for me to show you how I made it? I know I lost some video recording probably by not hitting the button. I would say that's likely what happened. <laughs> but I do have um, like two and a half hours of work in here at least that I intended to show you. So let me know if there's anything that you want to see how I made or if you have any questions about anything. Thanks for joining me today. And as always, be kind. Bye.